Hey folks, welcome in. Today we are looking at the Amani Battle Bear Mount in Zolomon within 15 minutes of ringing the gong at the front of the instance. Now you need to make sure that the dungeon is set on Heroic. It is only available on Heroic. Once inside, you'll want to go and talk to Zol'jin. This will actually start the timer, open the gates and be able to do the dungeon. This gong can be quite glitchy. Now what I mean by that is it only requires one click to engage. You don't want to be spamming it and clicking it forever to make it go quicker as that does not work. So just click it once and wait for the RP to happen. The order of bosses to trigger this mount may or may not be involved with getting this mount. Couldn't really prove that in my video. However, doing it this way does definitely drop the mount. So I decided to go around to Nalarak first. Now with this particular boss, the ads need to be killed that are on the way to this boss. It will only trigger the boss once those ads have been killed, which you've just seen. After you kill Nalarak, we're going to talk to someone in a cage. This is vital for the mount. You need to talk to people in cages after each boss. Next, I decided to head over to Akilzon. This one is the first on the left when you come in the dungeon. And again, you need to make sure you kill the adds on the way to the boss. As you can see here, I tried to do it without doing that. I get all the way to the top by skipping all the adds, and then I have to come back down again. So with that out of the road, you kill the boss, Go talk to another person in a cage, once again. The next boss that I decided to go to was Jan- Ah, but this one has a catch. You can't access it directly. Remember the first boss that we went to? There's a back path that heads around to him. So technically, you probably could do this as the second boss. However, I'm not sure if it still drops a mount. So if you do know, drop a comment below and let me know if it worked for you. This boss, unlike the previous two, we did not have to kill any adds prior to killing it. So we go ahead, straight up nuke the boss, and once again, unlock our cage with our person to run away. You're almost there, stick with me. Now we're heading to Halazi, who is the final boss you need. You do not need to complete Hexlord, Malakras, or Dracura. You can if you want to though, but it's not required for this mount. So again, there's no prerequisite adds to kill here. Go ahead, nuke the boss. And if you've done everything right to this point, you'll get an achievement called Barely Made It. That guarantees the prerequisite for getting the mount. It means you have saved the survivors before the time limit ends at the top of the screen. Finally, you'll release the survivor as shown. She will go around and crack vases. Now you are looking for a bag by the name of Cash's Bag. This guaranteed to contain the mount if you have done everything correctly to this point. And there it is, Cash's bag. And looting it contains a mount. GG. And thank you so much to these coffee subscribers for helping me each and every month be able to make these videos still. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. See you next time, folks.